Hi guys, Bumpy for Spurred on outside the Britannia Stadium. Spurs have done something that not many teams I can think of. Let me know if you can think of any, but not many teams come to the Britannia and win 4-0, especially not on the hallowed, as everyone talks about, cold Monday night in Stoke. We've absolutely ripped them apart tonight. It's hard to know where to start. I'll, I'll tell you where I'll start. Before the game, as I'm walking towards the ground here, and I can hear from over pretty much a mile away, half a mile away, the Spurs fans, over an hour before the game, they're in the ground and the atmosphere, it's just a buzz that is unlike anything. They're chanting the whole time. It reminds me a lot of a couple of years ago, all the press were going absolutely mad because Liverpool were looking like they were going to win the league. And the press, Sky Sports, they were showing before every game as the Liverpool team bus went up to Anfield and all the fans were knocking on it and chanting and screaming. It's starting to get that buzz about the Spurs fans, not just at the lane, which is a fantastic atmosphere at the moment, like Man United 3-0 the other week, incredible. It was rocking. But these away games, it is absolutely buzzing and we are making up this 12th man. Whether we need the 12th man or not, I don't know, because the performance I put in, we put in today was unbelievable. The only save I can think of that Hugo Lloris had to make was one from Arn Arnautovic. Early doors, maybe 20 minutes in, he hit it straight at me, palmed it away. That was it. We were all over them apart from that. And obviously, when you're a Spurs fan, you're nervous. Are they going to score? Are they going to score from a set piece? What are they going to do? But we kept them at arm's length the whole time. I, I, I can't, you know, the plaudits are going to go to Deli Ali and Harry Kane. Of course they are because they got two goals each. But I can tell you this, Christian Eriksen, he is the absolute playmaker, the leader in our team. His touch, his vision, two absolutely unbelievable passes for those goals. Everything comes through him. He is so important to us. Sign him up straight away. Get those deals done. Unbelievable. I want to talk about the fullbacks. I'm not even going to mention the centre backs, but they were fantastic. Unbelievable, both on the ball and without. Eric died the same, but the fullbacks. Danny Rose, they were on his back from the very first minute because of something that happened a couple of years ago, him getting someone sent off for Stoke or what have you. Who gives a shit? Who cares about that? He didn't let it phase him whatsoever. He was up and down, up and down. Absolutely terrific. Even made himself a couple of chances. Carl Walker, exactly the same. Anyone who can questions those boys' uh, place in the Euro squad, don't. Because they can do it both backwards and forwards. Carl Walker has come on so much in the last few uh, months. It is unbelievable. Fantastic performance from him. I've already mentioned Christian Eriksen. I've got to go on to Delhi. Moussa Dembele, just before I speak about Delhi, Moussa Dembele is just, a, he's like an ox. Everything bounces off him. He's so huge. He always looks like he might want to have a little injury, but he jogs it off now. That's the difference between now and a year or two ago. He would go off. He wouldn't want to play. Now he's absolutely huge for us. He didn't have like the game. The, you know, he didn't set up any goals, didn't do anything. But because of him, he was breaking up the play so often. Fantastic. Stoke couldn't get near it. And let's bear in mind, this Stoke team, they've got some players. They've got Afolai. They've got Anatovic. They've got Bojan. Good, good players. We didn't give them a sniff at their place where everyone says it's basically impossible to get results. I'll go on to Deli Ali and, and Harry Kane. They just have an almost telepathic relationship. The passes, the link up play with Lamella as well. Absolutely top draw. Can't say any more. Rightly so. All the press will be about them, and I totally agree with it. Guys, I'm being shooed off by the police. They're trying to arrest me. They're trying to get me back out of Stoke. They've heard what I've done. I've just been too excited. Guys, let us know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. And most importantly, come on, you Spurs.